Okay, so let's say we had um, a plate of aluminum and it, you went and you looked up on the internet and you're like, okay, aluminum has a work function of 4.08 electron volts. So I know that's what's gonna be required. And your question is like, how much, like how high energy does the light have to be for me to shine on here and even get electrons to break off? Whether or not you can even collect them or not, just break. So we start with our equation, HF is equal to the work function plus the EV. And remember EV stands for, it represents the amount of kinetic energy um, that an electron would have kind of flying off of this guy. So we know the work function and that is 4.08, okay? And I'm curious about this, okay? And I said that we were just interested in breaking the bonds, not having them go anywhere. So we would say there'd be no kinetic energy. And in this situation, you wouldn't even actually be able to collect these electrons. There's no apparatus that would let you know, oh, these bonds are broken. But um, it's just a hypothetical question. So we got HF here. H, we're using electron volts because I said it's an electron volt. So you're going to want to use the Planck's constant that correspond with those electron volts. So... I'm actually running out of room on my screen, probably not yours. So we'd use that 4.14 uh, times 10 to the negative 15th for Planck's constant times the frequency is equal to the work function, which is 4.08. And we would get a frequency of 9.86 times 10 to the 14th hertz. So if we shown down that um, frequency of light, which... By the way, this number just happens to be just outside of the visible range of light. So this would actually be ultraviolet light, just a fun fact. If we were to shine that down on the light or on the plate, the bonds would break, but they wouldn't have the electrons wouldn't have enough energy to really go anywhere. So you wouldn't be able to detect them. So we'd have to go a little bit higher to get that. Okay, so let's uh, jack up the energy a little bit. And let's say we were to go to a higher frequency, much higher. So we go to 4 times 10 to the 15th hertz, let's say. And you were to shine this down on a piece of aluminum. Okay. What kind of kinetic energy would you get off? Well, we have, back to our equation here, HF is equal to the work function plus EV. And remember, this stands for the kinetic energy. So if you actually just wanted to calculate the kinetic energy, you could just write this as... That's the kinetic energy of the little electron being shot off. So let's see. Um, so we would put that in. Remember that we're doing hertz. So shoot, we could actually pick whichever um, Planck's con we ten the con oh Planck's constant we wanted to use. But I'm I'm going to stick an electron bolt. So I'm going to go four point one four times ten to the negative fifteenth. So okay, times the frequency of light we're sending down. That's this. 4 times 10 to the 15, oh, look at that, very convenient, is equal to our work function, which was, uh, let me look at my handy-dandy chart, 4.08 electron volts plus the kinetic energy. We don't know the mystery kinetic energy that these electrons are going to be flying off. So we're going to throw it in the calculator, and we get that, and then we subtract the 4.08 from both sides, and what do we get? And that's the number you get, and you're like, wow, that is a creepily decent number in a class that basically always has times 10 to the something. And that's because we're doing this again in electron volts, and that was determined by which Planck's constant I chose. Electron volts are teeny, 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 tiny amounts of energy, so this is like nothing.